For the Daily Radio News on 94.3 WKUF in Flint, Michigan, I'm David Jackson for Friday, June 10th, 2016. A local hospital said in a court ruling that they had no duty to inform the public of a Legionella outbreak in their water system. Gary Ridley of the Flint Journal reports that a recent study into the Legionella outbreak by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services cited an unnamed area hospital as being the source of the disease in approximately half of the reported cases. In a lawsuit that was just approved to move forward by Genesee County Circuit Court Judge Judith Fullerton, McLaren Hospital of Flint argued that it had no duty to inform patients of an outbreak. In McLaren's motion, lawyers for the hospital said that there is no law mandating that they should warn of, warn of infectious or contagious diseases within their building, noting that if there were, hospitals would have to warn patients every time someone was diagnosed with any other contagious disease. The lawsuit is being brought based on negligence and the maintenance of the facility and is on behalf of one of the victims of the Legionnaire's disease outbreak. Flint Police Chief Tim Johnson, according to concerns from the Flint City Council, is not a certified police officer. Molly Young of the Flint Journal reports that Chief Johnson allowed his certification to lapse when he retired in 2009, and Flint City Councilman Scott Kincaid says that Johnson carrying a weapon as a Flint police officer could potentially open the city up to liability. According to Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton, Chief Johnson patrols with a duly certified officer and is therefore staying within the bounds of the law. However, if Chief Johnson were himself to see someone doing something illegal, he would have to call the police himself to make an arrest. Mayor Karen Weaver says that she knew that Johnson was no longer certified and argued that she chose him based on his service record rather than having a certification that allegedly is not required for the position. Councilman Kincaid says that this raises a concern that this administration is not clearly vetting potential candidates for positions to run the city, although adding that he is by no means implying that Chief Johnson is not qualified. A petition to recall Michigan Attorney General Bill Schuette over his handling of the Flint water situation was given permission to move forward. Lauren Gibbons on MLive.com reports that the Board of State Canvassers approved the recall language Thursday, That says that Schutte appointed attorney Todd Flood as special counsel to head the Flint water situation probe. Calvin Hodges of Sterling Heights, who submitted the petition in May, says that Schutte is wasting taxpayer dollars and getting in the way of outside investigations, adding that there is no need for the attorney general to interview now, as the state has already dropped the ball. Schutte spokeswoman Andrea Bightley says that the factual information in the petition is correct. However, the attorney general believes that investigating the Flint water situation is within his duty to protect the citizens of Michigan. In sports, Game 5 of the Stanley Cup playoffs was played in Pittsburgh last night, where the Penguins went into the game up three games to one against the San Jose Sharks and hoping to put the series away on home ice. But standing between the Penguins and the Stanley Cup, Sharks goalie Martin Jones had a good game. Jones stopped all but two of 46 shots on goal while San Jose clinched the game with a minute and a half left in the game by scoring an empty netter to beat the Penguins 4-2. The series now heads to California for Game 6 on Sunday at 8, where Pittsburgh still leads the series 3-2 games. The Tigers were off yesterday and are scheduled to face the Yankees for a three-game series starting today in New York, tonight at 7.05 Eastern. And finally, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in California voted 7-4 to uphold a California law that requires gun owners to show a good reason before they can get a license to carry a concealed handgun. NBC News reports that the court ruled that there is no constitutional right to carry a concealed handgun, saying that the protection of the Second Amendment simply does not extend to the carrying of concealed firearms outside of the home by the general public. A decision by the U.S. Supreme Court in 1897 says that the right of the people to bear arms is not infringed by laws prohibiting the carrying of concealed weapons, and many states have similar restrictions on concealed carry. Except in Idaho, where last month a new law was passed that allows concealed weapons without a permit. An Idaho lawmaker said in a letter to the Idaho Senate that he is concerned that the law does not have a provision to require education and training. However, other states that allow concealed carry without a permit include Arizona, Wyoming, Alaska, and possibly Michigan in the near future. A proposed rule in the Michigan House that would allow law-abiding citizens to carry concealed pistols without a permit, House Bill 5304, is currently in debate in Lansing. For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.